Hello, everybody. Well, welcome to the last day of Vlogist. I have mixed feelings about it, but mostly I'm actually, I'm pretty happy it's done. <laughs> um, not that I haven't enjoyed it. I have very much. The last 10 days, I haven't been real consistent with it, but um, I've been getting things set up and in order to go back to work outside the home. I have my credentials updated for my in-home caregiver or health in-home home in-home health care aid. Sorry. It's much like a CNA, but it's in people's homes instead of in a nursing facility or rehab center. I will eventually, probably within the next year, I will go for my CNA. But for now, this is good. And uh, so I was busy getting that done and trying to keep up with um, the vloggists. And some of that kind of fell to the wayside because priorities, right? So um, I'm excited to go back to work and in the healthcare field. I have loved the healthcare field since I was a little girl. A little bit of background about me I haven't shared before is when I was little, I wanted to be an RN. So when I graduated from high school in 1981, I enrolled in the LPN course at Bellingham Technical College, or back then it was Bellingham Botech Institute, and I made it through the first um, six months of the course, and I dropped out because I, I know now I just wasn't ready. I, I didn't have the maturity that I needed. And I could not separate emotion from um, neutrality. I got much too attached to people, and it was really difficult. I wanted to specialize in pediatrics, and, and some of the things I was seeing just broke my heart. So I needed to leave before I got my psyche really damaged. So I did, and I went into the secretarial field. And eventually I entered into the law field and I became a paralegal and I was paralegal for a while. And then I went and got my CDL because my husband went out on the road driving truck long haul and I didn't want to be separated from him. And um, so I got my CDL, went to truck driver training school jumped in the truck with him as soon as I got my license and away we started going up and down the I-5 corridor hauling um, produce and then we went over to flat bedding two and a half three-ish years later and we went from the west coast to the east coast both in um, the United States and Canada and we did that for about 17 years together and then I was injured and my doctor wouldn't release me. I was hit and run in a Michigan State rest area. And it was a very long ride home and a 20-month recovery time. And it was not a pleasant time in our lives, but it was the new normal. And then my husband was injured, um, well, six years ago now. So it was three years after me. Um, he fell while on a job site off the flatbed trailer and sustained a severe concussion and brain injury. And so we were on a whole new journey. And now he delivers uh, steel. He's the delivery driver for a local fencing and steelworks company here. And I am going back into the healthcare field. So that's exciting to me. And um, let's see. Oh, so my new schedule. I just want to end this with my new schedule. I have planned Tuesdays, Thursdays, and either Saturday and Sunday. And those are going to be split up with a how to crochet or how to knit. Um, that'll probably be on Tuesdays, I'm thinking. And then Thursdays are going to be whips and finished objects and uh, maybe pieces of news or whatever that I have. And then on Saturday, Sunday, it's going to be a grab bag. I'm just going to pick a topic and either show you. It might be another how-to video. It might be a whip. Um, 
I don't know. I haven't decided yet. You can put in the comments what you would like to see on Saturday or Sunday video. How's that? That's what we'll do. So, um, oh, and I'm still waiting on answers or comments regarding what I asked about the diamond painting that I'll be doing for Victoria Moon. Um, or Victoria's Moon. I'd like to know if you want to see whips videos or if you want to see me uh, doing a diamond painting, you know, working on it type video um, or, you know, so that would be really helpful for me because I want to put content that you're interested in, not just what I want to do because it's about you guys, my viewers, as well as what I want to do. So um, that's it for now. Oh, I did finish the rooster table topper. It's completely finished, all the back stitching on it, and I will be including that in tomorrow's video. Um, so I'll start my new schedule there, and I hope everybody has a great Labor Day weekend. I thank you to all my new subscribers. At some point, I am going to go through my subscriber list, and I will write everybody down on the list. I will announce you thanking you officially individually and um putting links into your channels um i have not subscribed to everything everyone in return and I just, i've just been too busy to do that yet but i will and i will give you a shout out on my channel as well because it's all about community and i love our community it's fabulous being here so thank you everybody have a great great weekend and thanks for sticking with me through vlogs and putting up with my laxness the last 10 days all right remember be kind be loving be awesome and stay blessed bye bye